Hi there everyone, welcome along to Betfair's look at all the action on Derby Day from Ramwick in Sydney. My name's Matthew Thompson from Betfair, back with us this week, racing tragic from Sydney's Nova 969, Andrew Martin. Good to have you back, mate. How was the battle last week, firstly? The battle wasn't great. I backed Faint Perfume, which is a good result. Well I backed Hinchinbrook each way in the slipper, which was disastrous. If there's a worse thing to do on a racetrack than back a horse that runs fourth and you backed it each way, <laughs> bloody dreadful. Well, anyway, he ran a mighty race. He, indeed he did. Should mention as well, we bet in the run on Betfair. I think that might be a bit too quick for you. But Faint Perfume, $15 in running you could have got. Geez, it was a big run. Mm. On the home turn, your, your dead set didn't. She was travelling okay, but she just looked a bit too far off the oh, pace. Yeah. But geez, it, the, the last 100 metres was absolutely extraordinary and probably has the aches of the mercy now, I'd say. Yeah, you'd have to say so. She'll meet Val tomorrow again. Now, the first race we'll have a look at on Saturday, it's the feature. I say that loosely, it is the Group 1 Derby. It is named Derby Day, but... I don't know about the quality of this derby this year. The favourite, Zabrasive, coming off its win in the Rosehill Guineas at three fifty with Betfair. Out to $5.20 for Rock Classic. $7.20 Shootout, who was the favourite, of course, for the Rosehill Guineas, but was a bit disappointing, so the punters are prepared to take it on. And maybe the real um, smoky in the race down the bottom, number 15 from New Zealand, keep the peace at $10. And a few other good horses at decent odds as well. But how do you see this? Well, certainly, as you said, mate, it's not a vintage derby. There's no saintly nothing like a day in octagonal repeat here, that's for sure. Three of the horses have a chance that the other 12 are just about legal as far as I can. Yep, absolutely. Yeah. It's abrasive, shootout, and of course, Rock Classic. Although Rock Classic would have to be very suspicious that the trip got out, stayed at the end of the Rose Hill Guineas by, of course, uh, it's abrasive. Uh, it's abrasive. Well, Zabrasive's is a beal too, and Zabrasive will be even better suited at the 2400 metres. So out of those two, I'm going Zabrasive. But I'm going to tip a return to form from Shootout. I think this might be a Randwick horse. It's two from two at Randwick. Yes, it was very disappointing in the Rose Hill Guineas, but just things didn't pan out for it that day. Back to Randwick, where it won the Randwick Guineas two starts back over 1600. I thought it was super duper impressive that day. And yeah, there are question marks about whether it'll get a strong 2400 metres amongst some. I've always thought shootout the best will be seen 2,000 plus. I'm going to give him another chance. Forgive him for his poor run in the Rose Hill Guineas. As I said, back to Randwick. Good price. Shootout. Start the Cat Seedies. Each way, $7.20. Well, I reckon you've got rocks in your head because I'm going to tip one outside the top three. In there fact, I'm go. tipping one at seventeen fifty to win yep. the Derby. And I'm pretty keen as well. Count in Costa, the Patnack Farm Horse. One last week on the quick backup up to 2,400 metres. It beat Desperado, which I'm also giving a little chance in the race too, depending on how it pans out. But uh, I thought that was a super run from a horse that's crying out for the extra distance. One at 2,000, steps up to 2,400 metres. And I'm going to go each way, and I reckon it's one of my better each way bets on the card. In well, the you Derby get on Count it. And Costa. You, you get on it, your $17. Yes, it was impressive, but the field it beat was not. Not up to the Rose oh, Hill Guinea standard. I reckon the Rose Hill Guinea's form's absolute rubbish. Based on? Based on the fact that Rock Classic should have won, didn't. It was abrasive, looked like it was paddling. What do you mean it should have won? Well, what do you mean it should have won? Straight. Well, it did, didn't Good quite run. see out the trip. It got outstayed by a superior stayer. John O'Shea's yeah, stayer. always had. Up and down on the same spot, John, O'Shea's, John O'Shea's always had a high opinion as abrasive. And being as a bill, got out to 2,000 metres, outstayed Rock Classic. Whose form, it should be said, was outstanding leading in there. At so a mile. You're bagging the Rose Hill Guineas form, but it went down to Melbourne and killed him in the Australian Guineas, beating horses like Denman. Yeah. So I think, I think the Rose Hill Guineas form is always the best leading into the derby. You can have your Tullock Stakes. You can have your $17. I'll have a shootout each well, way. Thanks very much. have taken the $17 already. I think it can be. Oh, this New Zealand horse is interesting. Keep the Peace comes over with terrific form. And I think with the prospect of an effective track on Saturday and a staying trip plays into the Kiwis' hands. But... Count in Costa, 17.50 each way in the Derby for mine and shootout for Marta. We've got uh, all the other group ones coming up in a minute.